Okay, guys. This car picked up really cheap. The only thing wrong with it is the VAT system, the vehicle anti-theft system. It's a Chevy. I'm going to show you how to bypass that. Alrighty. So, this is what the VAT system does when it's not running. Put the ignition in, you'll get that security light flashing. You turn the key, and it won't let you start it. It disables the starter and the fuel injectors. So what you gotta do, Okay, well, what you got to do is under the column in the dash, there's an orange wire, and inside those two, that orange wire, there's two white wires. Okay, cut that off, and you'll see where it connects up in there. Now I'll show you where to go from there. Okay. Now this is usually the problem. This chip right here. Piece of crap Chevy system. What you gotta do, throw that in a vise. Okay, now that we have the key in the vise, go to Radio Shack, buy yourself for 96 cents resistor value package. Comes with all different, uh, see if this piece of shit will focus here, but it comes with different resistance. And what you need to do is get an ohm meter, put it in between the points on the front and the back set your own meter to 20k it'll give you the reading of the resistance in between the key okay so grab yourself the resistor after you find out the resistance grab yourself the value pack it comes with all different ones now the resistance I got lucky on this was uh, 1128 so we need 1128k or sorry 1k 128 so, now what we do, okay, now we take our uh, resistors, take your ohm meter, put the ohm meter in between, and keep adding them up till you get the same resistance as you got with the key. So here I've got mine all looped together. I had to put a 100, uh, 1,000, and a 10. You have a 2% leeway above or beyond. So I've got mine all looped together. Now we'll take the key out of the vise. Then we'll head back to the car. Okay. So now we got them two wires already cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a, the resistors in between. Alrighty. As you can tell, just bastardized in between. Just to give it a test, I've got my three resistors looped through. Now we'll give this a shot. The system to fix it at the Chev dealership is five hundred dollars. But we do everything redneck style around here. Okay. Security lights on. Not flashing. It's off. Boom. There you go. Ninety-six cent fix. Now what we'll do is we'll solder them all together, put some heat shrink tape on it, 
and we're ready to go. You also got to remember, do not make sure make sure you don't cut any of the yellow wires that come from under your dash because that is the uh, airbag and I just can't see you want to sit in a seat with an airbag going off. So there you had it. I'll break out my solder and iron and have at her. Okay, there you have it guys. We got it all soldered together. All three resistors. You'll have to excuse the focus on this camera. It's a piece of shit. Now all we gotta do is uh, put some heat shrink tube or some black tape. Attach it to the two wires that we tested on. And you're ready to go. Okay, so there you have it guys. Let's recap that. Pick up some resistors. Very cheap Radio Shack. Got the value package. Check it with your ohm meter. Check with your ohm meter between the two points either side. That'll get you your uh, resistance. As you can see I've got it looped together. Make sure they're separate and they're not touching anything else. Tuck it up under the dash somewhere nice. I couldn't find any heat shrink so we used the good old uh, electrical tape. And let's see how we're doing. Yay! No more flash and security light. And she starts beautiful. So there you have it people. Cheap car, cheap fix. And if anybody wants to buy it, it'll be up on London, Ontario, Kijiji. 1997 Oldsmobile LSS. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I hope that helped you guys on the VAT system. Easy, one dollar fix. Uh, so just remember run your own meter across the two points on your key to get your resistance. Make the same resistance with your capat with your resistors, solder them together, loop it through the orange wire, and you're ready to go. I think it's about time for coffee.